everybody, this is Sangeeta Zaksena, editor Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from DACI Japan at Chiba. And we are here interviewing Daiki Kasugara, who is the Assistant Commissioner of Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency, fondly called ATLA, with the Ministry of Defense, the Government of Japan. And uh, most welcome, Daiki, to our uh, show chat room. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me one thing, mm -hmm. Atlas is the most important at the moment <laughs> yeah, in this show. Right. Yeah, thank so, you very much. So uh, how, does, how, how does it feel to be a part of a organization which is taking you know a lot of international leaps and bounds mm -hmm, okay. so what is it like you know what is what is atla doing which yep. is making it so important yeah thank you very much uh, the name of atla acquisition technology logistics agency explains everything actually yeah. and uh, we are in charge of our uh, say uh, uh, equipment uh, from the state of, stage of uh, research development and the actual acquisition and the life cycle management uh, until the, the finish of the usage. And so we are in charge of everything related to the uh, uh, equipment of the Self-Defense Force of Japan. Wonderful. And uh, at the DACI in Japan, this is the second time we are having a DACI yes. here. And I, as a media partner to the show, can see a very visible change. Uh, so are you also seeing that change? So what do you see? Uh, what do you see? Is it an expanding market which has created DACI to go this huge? Okay, I believe uh, it, the market is uh, very, very huge. But uh, I do not like to see it as a, just a market. And uh, I say the Defense Equipment Corporation is not just uh, selling things, and uh, it is the basis of the cooperation between uh, like-minded uh, countries, and uh, it relates to the Defense Corporation in much wider context. And uh, I think the, the equipment is a very, very important element for the cooperation. So I think uh, so far the Japan's uh, policy to restrict the export as a pacifist country. Uh, we provided some kind of limitations, but uh, we, uh, with keeping uh, the status as a peace, uh, pacifist country, we can do more uh, to the what's say, global peace and the stability uh, in the scope of the uh, technology cooperation and the equipment cooperation. And the uh, DSEIS participation of ATLA uh, is a very, 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 very important uh, milestone to make Japan more. Uh, uh, let's say, uh, forward, uh, forward looking and uh, in the uh, uh, global uh, defense cooperation and the equipment technology cooperations. And uh, you know, since we've been here, we've been seeing a lot of activity in your booth and your area, which is so huge. I think this should be ah, the biggest area. Much. Thank you very much. So, what does it mean? Is it attracting a lot of foreign delegations? What has been the footfall like for you here? Yeah, I think uh, because we have uh, uh, issued uh, new three strategic documents uh, related to the national security. I think uh, this uh, gave up. Uh, uh, sends out a very important message to the world that uh, Japan is now ready to make better contribution, bigger contribution uh, in, the, uh, in the scope of the defense equipment cooperation. So that's the reason why uh, so many foreign delegations are coming in. And uh, I feel the heat uh, coming up. And uh, so the name of the, the, this booth, the theme of the, uh, this uh, booth is a uh, dome. Now I say the uh, night is uh, finishing and the morning is coming and uh, also the sun is uh, starting to rise again. And so uh, that's uh, I say uh, the Japanese uh, position and the Atlas position that uh, we will be making much bigger contribution to the world. Which also means that all the industry, which we see the big ones in Japan, mm -hmm. uh, when you talk of the big ones, we mean Kawasaki, mm -hmm. Toshiba, Mitsubishi, yes. ha, IHI, and also a lot of, you know, nearly 50, 60 of them, mm -hmm. which are the small supply chain partners. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, is Atla also uh, responsible for getting them the right sort of business yes. and get, giving them a yes. make in Japan sort of a yes. environment and platform? Yeah, that's right. And uh, actually, uh, uh, ATLA is now submitting a uh, new law legislation to the Diet uh, in, uh, on February 10th. And that is uh, what they support the supply chain of uh, defense industry in Japan. And uh, so I, I think uh, the Japanese uh, industry's uh, source of competition 
competitive power lies in the suppliers, including small and medium-sized enterprises. Mm -hmm. We support the uh, big companies, but also we need to support the small and medium-sized enterprises. And the challenges for the SMEs are much, much bigger. And uh, so with this uh, new legislation, we'll be providing the various uh, support and uh, so that uh, they can be very, very sustainable, sorry, sustainable in uh, defense industry also. Right. And uh, when we talk of that, when we talk of the, you know, when you talk of your logistics and, uh, you know, it is all related to the three forces, uh, which are joint forces in yes. Japan. Yes. So in that case, uh, what is your role with the forces? Actually, uh, uh, forces are the, let's say, the uh, needs provider and they will send us the needs and the ATLA uh, works to fulfill the needs and uh, so starting from researches and uh, uh, building up relations with the industries and uh, and uh, coordinate uh, with the matching and uh, also we take care of the life cycle of the let's say the forces that use uh, equipment so uh, everything related to the equipment uh, comes to us so which means that uh, you have for them uh, you know, a base you give them for procurement. Yes. But exactly. apart from procurement, when it comes to, um, uh, you know, MRO activity mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. uh, leasing, uh -huh. uh, even then you are useful to them? Actually, uh, for MROs, uh, each, uh, uh, each army and the uh, Air Force, uh, Navy are fa first uh, in charge. Mm -hmm. But uh, if they have a problem with the actual supplies and the relation with the companies, we provide support for them. Okay. Yep. So uh, also, does in Japan, what is the system like? It does MRO also remain with the government, uh, not the forces, but do you have a separate government agency for MRO of uh, uh, military aircraft, military for the ships and for the actually, uh, tanks, etc. Actual, et yeah. actual ac activity uh, mainly provided by private sectors, okay. but they uh, uh, they provide service on a contract basis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, in addition to this, uh, is there a very big lease market in the Japanese Defense Forces? Uh, with regards to the lease market, not so much. And not uh, was so much. Uh, just uh, was, uh, for the uh, office uh, equipment or something like that, we have uh, this. Uh, sometimes we lease, uh, but uh, for big uh, equipment, we do not apply this system. Uh, so are they f uh, basically, if they are from the foreign governments, then are they f FMS? Yeah, FMS. FMS, yeah, FMS, yeah, FMS, FMS. Uh, procurement. Uh, and uh, uh, in uh, addition to it, under you, do you have a very big research and development wing? Yes, yes, that's so right. So what have, is it uh, like? Uh, 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 we have uh, many researches and uh, uh, research centers and uh, for ships and uh, for air and uh, for ground forces and uh, also another research center to think about the uh, next generation warfare. <laughs> Futuristic technology. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. So this is all. This is all under Atla. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well that's so. Which yeah. means, are there laboratories? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yes, so, exactly. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that is that is wonderful. Anything else you'd like to add for our audience, which is going to see the DACI Japan through our eyes? Okay. So is there something you would like to add to them? Okay, I think uh, uh, Atla and uh, our Minister of Defense is really ready to make a bigger contribution to the global peace, and uh, I think. Uh, uh, the cooperation of equipment and technology is not just about the thing. Uh, the, we, we, uh, we, with uh, equipment at the center, we build up uh, relations, uh, human relations and mutual understandings. And so I think that, that is the basis of our peace and the stability. Right. Thank, Thank you, you much. so much. It was wonderful speaking with you. And the next time when we come here for the next DSEI, we just hope you have lots more to tell us. Thank you very Thank much. You very